Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to show you how to make and how to work with rolled buttercream icing. The recipe couldn't be simpler. It's very easy to work with, very versatile, lots of fun stuff we can do with it. And it also dries and crusts hard enough that you can actually package this. It's so much fun, so let's get started. So first you're gonna need two sticks, which is one cup of unsalted room temperature soft butter. Now you can use shortening or a combination of the two, but I, for this purpose, I am using just butter. So we need two sticks or one cup of soft butter in our mixing bowl. We're gonna add to that three tablespoons of light corn syrup. Now this is gonna give us our elasticity in our dough. If you're familiar with my videos, we're gonna add one teaspoon of bright white gel color. Now I like to add this to all of my base icings because I feel like it helps colors pop off of that just like a primer would. I'm also going to add three teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now this is fun because you can flavor it to coordinate with your cookie. Um, if you have a particular combination of emulsions or extracts that you like to use, go for it. And we're gonna add two pounds of powdered sugar. No need to sift this whatsoever. Two pounds. So you're gonna add all of that to your mixing bowl and you're gonna, with a paddle attachment, mix it up until the sides of the bowl are coming away clean. And that creates your dough like we have here. You can see I made a little bit earlier and we mix it up and if we pull this out, you can see it's a very, not very sticky dough. Now this dough, you can either work with it right away or you can do what I tend to do, which is let it rest and sit for a little while. I feel like these ingredients work better when they've had time to kind of sit and rest and emulsify together. But with that being said, you can certainly use it right away if you'd like to. Now you can straight from here, add color to this, because this is now your base icing. So you can add color to it, or you can let it crust, and you can airbrush it, or you can paint it. Here, you can see I let this crust, and I actually stenciled it, and I painted it using my paint your own technique. Now, what I did here is I combined royal icing and the rolled buttercream. I originally thought you couldn't do that, but I have learned that the longer you let your buttercream crust, the more compatible it will be with royal icing and your royal icing will stick to it if you let that buttercream crust a little bit first. So just so you know, you can use royal icing to decorate the top of this. You're just gonna need to let it crust very well. And when I say crust very well, I mean overnight. I'm not saying days. Just let it dry overnight and then you can work with it. Now with this rolled buttercream, you can do exactly as it says. You can roll it out, which I like to roll mine between two sheets of parchment paper. And on here, on my rolling pin, I actually have a quarter inch guides on my rolling pin. So I am, my cookies that I use are 5 sixteenths and I'm rolling this out to a quarter inch. You can roll it out thinner, but sometimes the thinner you make it, 
it will need to be firmed up in a refrigerator before you can actually handle it a little better. The thicker it is, the easier it is to handle without chilling it. So in order to cover a cookie, I take the cookie cutter of the same size that I used and I just cut it out. Now before you cut it out, I could put that straight on my cookie or you can use a rolling pin that has an impression on it or you can use impression mats and get texture. All you would do is push that right into your icing and then peel it up. And then you can cut it out <laughs> like so. So I peel away my extras after I've cut it out. And in order to get this to stick to your cookie, you will need to glue it. And in order to glue it, I use a little tiny bit of corn syrup and I just very lightly add it to the edges of my cookie, just the tiniest, tiniest little touch of corn syrup. Then you lift your icing off of your mat and place it right on your cookie like so. Now I like to use my fondant smoother just to ensure that I get it to stick flatly. <laughs> and there you go. You can go around your edges and you can pat it down slightly, make sure all your little edges are stuck. And there you go. Now you can attach other elements to the top of it, but you will need to use your corn syrup to glue and attach just like I have done here. See, these are not gonna come off. <laughs> now you can airbrush this, you can paint it, obviously you can paint it, I've painted on it here. Or you can, or you can just airbrush the whole thing, whichever you prefer, but definitely once it's crusted, you can stencil over top of it, which this took stencil very, very well. I love it. <laughs> so guys, play around with it. Let me know what you think. Post all your pictures. Like this video. Subscribe to the rest of my videos. Watch them. Let me know what you think and send me your questions. Thank you, guys.